All right, so in this project, we're going to be building a simple web server. Now, if you're used to using programming languages like PHP and other server side languages, then you know that you could use something like Apache, which is a, a pre made server that you can upload your files to. Uh, but usually, when we're using Node, it's a little different. We actually have to create our own web server, uh, and it's, it's really a lot easier than it sounds. But basically, we have to make it so that we make the HTTP requests and response and all that good stuff. Um, and if you go to nodejs.org and you scroll down a little bit on the home page, uh, they actually provide you with some sample code for our web server. All right, so let's just go through this really quick. Uh, right here, we're setting a variable called HTTP, and we're setting it to the HTTP module. All right, now modules in Node are basically um, add-ons or extensions, whatever you want to call it. They're, they can be small bits of code uh, encapsulated into a module, or they can be large framework-like um, modules like Express. So it basically just, they're extensions to Node.js. And the HTTP module comes with Node uh, by default. So you don't have to install it uh, separately or anything like that. And then here we're calling the create server method uh, on the HTTP module. And all this is done asynchronously. So we have a, a function, we're passing in a function. And right here we're just uh, writing the status to 200, which is means everything's all right. We're setting the content type to text plane. And basically we're gonna end the response here and just send out the, the text hello world. All right, and it's listening on port 1337 of the local host. And then here we're just console logging uh, that the server is running. All right, so this is the bare bones, um, simple, most simplified code that you, you could find that actually does something. And then if you wanna call this, if you wanna run this, you need to go to the command line and just say node and then the name of the, the JavaScript file in this case is example. All right, and it's gonna spit this out because you're, you're logging it right here. All right, so before we go any further and test this out, uh, I just wanna show you a site which is npmjs.com, and this is just a repository or a directory of all of the node, of all the, the modules that are available for node. And you can see uh, right here we have a lot of the, the really popular ones. Express is probably the most popular. Um, it's basically an entire model view controller framework that you can use. And it includes routing, templates, template engines, uh, basically everything you need to make to build a, a really nice application. All right, and we'll be using Express in uh, probably eight of the 10 projects. Um, whether we're using it directly or we're using something on top of it like Kraken which is uh, basically another layer to express um, so yeah so if you want to check that out uh, but what we're going to do right now is create a new project all right so I am going to go to C Drive and projects I'm going to create a folder and I'm gonna call this simple server. All right, now we can go ahead and create a new file. And let's call this server.js. Now you wanna make sure that you have the correct extension here. Um, if you're using Windows, then you wanna to go to, uh, where is it? folder and search options and under under view you want to make sure that this right here this hide extensions for known file types you want to make sure that that's not checked all right uh, so that you can see the extensions so you know you have the correct one all right instead of having server.js.txt all right so make sure you do that now let's go ahead open this up now before we do anything here, we need to create what's, what is called, basically it's a manifest file, and it's called package.json, and you should have one of these with all of your node applications. 
Now you can create it manually or you can do it the easier way and we're just going to git bash into this directory. All right, and we can say npm init. All right, and this is going to initialize a new uh, package JSON file. All right, so you just want to go through this and whatever's in the parentheses is going to be the default. Okay, so name of the application, simple server. So click enter. The version uh, by default is 1.0.0 and that's fine, we'll leave it at that. The description, uh, let's say this is a very simple web server. The entry point, this is going to be your main JavaScript file, server.js is what we created, so that's fine. Test command, we can skip that. Git repository, if you have this uh, on GitHub or something, you could put the link here. Keywords, if you wanted some keywords. Author, just put my name, you can put your own. Uh, license, we'll just say GPL. And then it's gonna just review it with you and ask if it's okay. Click enter, and that should create the file for you, which is right here, and it has all that information, all right? Um, if you're using modules that you need to install, then you can uh, claim your dependencies here as well. Uh, but we're not going to do that here. We're just using core modules. All right, so back to server.js. Let's go to the uh, Node website, and I'm just going to grab this. Okay, copy that, and let's paste that in. All right, and we can just save that. Now we want to go back to our bash command line and we should be able to start this with uh, npm start so now you can see it gives us the message server is running at our local host and port 1337 all right so now we should now be able to go to the browser and go to localhost 1337 and we get hello world all right, so that is coming from this very small block of code. All right, now that's going to do it for this video. In the next video, we're going to make it so that we can actually serve files because right now, no matter what we go to, if we go to slash about, we're still going to get just hello world. All right, so what we need to do is use a couple more core modules, including um, the path module, the URL module, and we're going to make it so that if we put the file about.html in this folder, then the server is going to grab it. Uh, if we go to this link, it's going to grab that and serve the about HTML page. All right, instead of just giving us hello world. All right, so we have something up and going, but we will um, we'll add the rest in the next video.